this pack rat den has been here a long time and uh i've been sitting here pecking away at it for probably three or four hours and got a big old pile over here i'll show you in a minute but check this out when you get down to the bottom it's, this stuff's like a brick and i've heard it's like they're urine that kind of binds it all together look at that Isn't that something? I mean, this stuff is just like well insulated. That's probably why these guys can make it through the winter. They got that. And there was like, from their little den where they were in there or where it was in there, I don't know if there's one or two of them or what, but right up above it, there was like a, a reservoir of these juniper seeds like that whole bunch of them in there so they would just funnel right down in as he ate them they'd just funnel down into his his little den he could just sit there and eat them during the winter time or to keep away from the coyotes at night or whatever yeah and then all around it there was uh that prickly pear the prickly pear uh cactus i mean all around it so that yeah if, if any kind of a animal will try to get in there after them well they're going to get their little paws all chewed up with that prickly those prickly pears it's pretty something and guys are survivors that's for sure i've just about got it now this is a big one a lot of work check this out i'll show you the the pile over here look at that that's a big pile you can get an idea how big it is. There's my, my foot, you know, sticking out there. That's a, uh, that's a lot of work. There's that rope there. That was my rope. They got that up in there. They were using that for like a bed, bedding material it looked like. So in the morning, I'm going to attempt to burn this stuff. I don't know how good it's going to burn, but I'll pour a little gas on it or something and set it on fire and Hopefully I can get it to burn down some. Pretty crazy. All right, back to work. Come on, burn, baby, burn. I don't know if this stuff's going to burn or not. I sure hope so, because it's kind of a mess. Pack rat nest. Big old pat rat nest. There's still more over there, but this is this is most of it right here. It's a lot though. They say these things can be hundreds of years old. And I believe it. Just they keep taking over. The next guy will come in and woohoo, look what I found.
and their urine is what kind of binds everything together like a it's real thick and syrupy I guess and it's uh it's like a resin and you notice down at the bottom of it there's these you you can bust uh, bricks out of it you know there's these bricks that like this Yeah, that's what gives you hantavirus right there. <clears throat> All right. Let's just hope this keeps on burning. Back to work. Well, here we are about a half hour later from when we started it, and it's still going. It's kind of what I was expecting, a, a smolder, like if you're trying to get uh, cow chips or cow patties to burn. They, it's hard to get them to, to really flame up, at least the ones out here. I mean, they uh, when they're all dried out and everything, they're real compact, and they, uh, they just kind of smolder. And, but they burn, they're just, they just smolder though. They don't really flare up. Maybe if you broke them up into little pieces to let more air flow through, they'd burn better. But it looks like this is gonna work. All right, I'll keep monitoring it through the day and try to burn all this down to a big ash pile. And then I'll get rid of the ashes. Well, this is, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half later from when I started it. Yeah, probably like an hour and a half by now. And uh, it's still going as good as ever. It's just, just burns kind of slow and it just keeps on going. Now the wind's starting to pick up. We got a storm coming in southwesterly before that front hits. Or they're picking up right now. So uh, I'm really going to have to keep an eye on it because the ashes are blowing right over here where there's a wood pile. I'll keep an eye on it though and monitor it. And I got water and tools I can use to spread it out if I have to. So we should be all right. Well, it's got some heat to it. Be cool to do this at nighttime. I had to have like a campfire. I don't know if I'd roast marshmallows on that, those uh, rat turds that are burning in there, but going good. I'm going to show you what I've done where all this mess came from. Oh man, smoke. Of course, it's going to go straight into me. But yeah, here's the tree. I mean, that uh, rat pile went like clear up to here. It was, you know three feet tall all the way around this thing and right in there is where the den was that's the worst part of it but that thing had been here for years this tree was just it looked like we should just cut the whole thing down and uh 
thought, no, let's try to save it because we can use it next to, to the garden area. And uh, some of the plants that don't want full sunlight all day long, we can kind of shade them out with this tree. We can put those plants around here. But check this out. That's what it looks like now. Looks pretty clean. Look at some of these cuts. Uh, I mean, they're all over. I mean, that's, some of these cuts, uh, they're pretty tough. You know what I mean? I did it all by hand. There's a pretty good one. So, I mean, you can do it, but I'm 63 years old and uh, I'm not quite as strong as I used to be for doing this, but use this saw right here. Look at the blade on that thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good saw right there. Those are some of the tools I use to do this project. Pretty well got it all cleaned up now. So now I can continue on and get some of this brush pile pushed back a little bit. I'm gonna bring the fence out on this side. So I got a little room like where the gorilla cart is right there. I got room right in here to pull the tractor up and maneuver it inside the fence. So uh, then I can kind of hug the garden a little closer around the rest of the garden. So I'm thinking about just pulling forward, backing up, and then going forward again and backing up, doing it that way instead of going all the way through. Because we got these little trees that are kind of in the way back over there. I don't really want to be cutting the trees down or anything. So we'll see how that goes. I'll talk to <clears throat> my wife, Amber, and make sure everything's okay with her before we start building that fence. All right, looking good. There's our smoky rat rat nest fire that's what we would call it a pack rat nest fire it's all nesting materials from the pack rat rats uh, there must have been generations and generations that had lived in that thing that's a lot of material right there well that's about a wrap for this project and it's on to the next building that fence so remember, stay healthy and strong, live your dreams, and be too stubborn to quit. See you next time.